Namaste, guys. Um, so I'm making another video. <coughs> it's hot as heck here. I don't know how you guys are feeling, but cool. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about the future and upcoming changes and things that I feel are coming about. Um, I've noticed just from observing the world that people are banding together. Um, they're coming together in dedication and pursuit of truth, which is really great, but I think it's going to lead to a lot of chaos, beautiful chaos, that is. <clears throat> There's always beauty in the breakdown, but I think it's going to be very overwhelming to some. Um, there's just, people are coming together protesting, there's been WikiLeaks created, Anonymous was created, Disclosure Projects um, was created, all these are really good examples of people banding together, um, for truth, in the name of truth, um, and in fights for our rights. You gotta fight for your right to party. Okay. Yes, you gotta fight for your right to live and love and be free, <clears throat> too. And party. Um, but yeah, it's going to be very overwhelming at first. I think that um, a lot of us are not ready to hear the truth. Actually, I don't think any of us are really ready to hear the whole truth. Um, but there are some of us who are more prepared than others because they've been doing a little digging of their own and they already... Um, you know, a lot of um, stuff that they found it on their own. And a lot of um, younger people, too, are just more in the know because they spend more time on the Internet and things like that. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be very chaotic, and some are going to be very overwhelmed. But it's only because we've never really experienced true freedom and um, truly living and truly connecting with each other and I think that's going to change once the truth comes out and we can finally be free because the truth as um, scary or surprising or um, shocking as it may be it's f it's freeing um, and we need to embrace the unknown we think that we are free now but we're really just fooled very, very fooled. Some have been more easily fooled than others. But, yeah, we've all, um, have fallen into the illusion. And I think it's really important to remember when we find out that our government and the people that we put so much trust into have been keeping things from us and lying to us and just manipulated us, controlled us, um... It's important to still keep peace and love in your heart and still um, aim to be comp try to be compassionate about the situation and don't overreact um, or um, lash out or anything like that. And don't react really until you are fully confident that you know all the facts. Like, um, in don't, don't react until you know that we have gotten the full truth. And the way you know if it's truth is if it feels right to you. Um, what I'm saying might not feel right to you, but it feels right to me, and that's why I feel I need to share it. <coughs> um, but yeah, usually, like I said, the truth is freeing, so... If what you're being told does not feel, um, vibrate with love and does not feel freeing to you deep down, um, then it's probably not truth. And you gotta let your heart do the deciding in, in this matter. You can't let your mind do it. You gotta let your heart feel it out for you. <coughs> because your heart knows truth and your heart, um... Your intuition is the best, most trustworthy friend you have. And the, the beautiful thing about it is once we get our freedom back, we'll be finally 
have the freedom and power to be able to save ourselves, um, create new forms of en energy release, technology that have been repressed, um, our, our spirits, the, the, the divine human spirit has been repressed, and it's time, um, I think it's definitely taken a toll on humanity, and the time has come for us to break out of that because we don't want to be repressed anymore. We can feel it it's taking our toll and, and we're tired of fighting and crying and struggling to live. You shouldn't have to struggle to live. <clears throat> um, but yeah, we'll finally have the freedom to be able to save ourselves and to help each other and to love each other. Really, free love, live free, woo. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Because <laughs> um, in the end, that's all anyone really wants is just to be happy and healthy and free and we're not going to be able to do that um, unless we come together as as a race it's time to just drop the hate drop drop the, the bullshit drop the axe like the, that's the beauty of this once the truth comes out um, it's time to let go of the war it's time to let go of the violence we we're, we have to agree to just let it go for the greater good of humanity, move past that, and finally, um, like I said, give peace and love a legitimate chance for once. It's never gotten a chance, guys. Give it a chance. Um, yeah, so we need to start acting like the human beings that we are, the beautiful creators of beauty and love that we are destined to be. We need to start loving each other and, and healing each other and, and, and ourselves too and creating beauty for our lives and the, the lives of those that we love. It's time to be the star that you are. That's one of my, that's a saying that I've adopted lately that I love to use. Be the star that you are because I feel like we're all just stardust and we need, as stardust, we need to come together and collect like stardust does to build a beautiful supernova star and then once you're a big beautiful supernova star you just be awesome for a while and you light up the sky and you just create and build and build and build until eventually you explode back into stardust and dance off into the universe and do crazy things and that's what we're going to do we're going to come together create this beautiful like place to live and thrive of creation and beauty um, restore earth to the natural divine state that it once was, create this beautiful supernova star, and then boom, after that we're going to bounce off into the universe and go create other awesome stars and become one with other things and just, it's going to be awesome. If, if just the thought of that, like it's my heartbeat going so quickly, the, the thought of us coming together to create um, immense beauty and like forces of love is just so cool <coughs> um yeah in times ahead guys be bold and be brave and be bright and hold on tight to each other and things are gonna be all right i i feel change change is near and love i feel love is here and it's definitely time to drop the fear because we got this. <coughs> um, but yeah, just remember to stay peaceful um, and calm and just wait for, wait for the calm after the storm, basically. Try to live as freely and blissfully as you can and always use your heart to find truth, okay? Um, your heart... Follow your bliss, and the, the universe will unlock doors and rearrange itself for you if you're truly following your bliss, because true bliss is love, the vibration of love. <clears throat> but yeah, no more rambling on about love and stuff, <laughs> even though we all love to ramble on about love. Um, <coughs> I hope you guys have a beautiful night. Don't forget to be the star that you are.